This is Love Notes, Daily Devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Grace and peace to you. Today, the core belief of our congregation deals with how it is that this love of God is given to us. Do we have to do something? Do we have to follow the right rules, believe the right beliefs? Do we have to attend the right church? Wear the right clothes? Are the mistakes we've made in the past enough to keep us from God's love? Our core belief states that none of this is true. We state that God's love is not earned, but is a free gift to broken people. A free gift to broken people. Not to the right people, not to the in people, not to the people who deserve it, because nobody does. God's love is not earned, but is a free gift to broken people. The writer of Ephesians lifts up this fact for us, celebrating the grace of God as something that joins together those who are broken and lost. The writer says, but God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us. Read that verse several times. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, even when we thought there was no hope, even when our biography was full of all of the most terrible things that we ever did, even though we were lost and couldn't find ourselves, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. If you don't memorize any other piece of scripture, memorize that. By grace, you have been saved. By God's free love given to you, you have been saved. And you've been raised up with him and seated with him in the heavenly places. God has embraced you like a father who's found a lost child, like a shepherd who's lost a sheep. God has raised you up and welcomed you home. And God has announced that through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The reason is so that in ages to come, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. What God wants is to lavish us with blessings, to live with us, in us, and through us in a relationship of God and creation. Hmm? That's what God wants. And God is willing to give it to us free. Verse 8, another verse worthy of memorizing. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. You can't brag about being saved. It's an unspeakable and deep abiding gift of grace to be overwhelmed by a gift so large, so, so amazing that we cannot comprehend it. This is what God has done for us. We believe that God's love is not earned, but is a free gift to broken people. Amen. Oh,